So, okay. what inspired this show, Peter? <laughs> oh God, please don't ask me that question. <laughs> there is a side, uh, there, there really isn't a single inspiration for my work. Okay. Um, I certainly take inspiration from the landscapes that inspire me. Um, my work is not really only driven by landscape, it's as much driven by the experience of the landscape, or the experience of the people, the experience of the places I go. I don't really have a strong social context to my work, so um, it's impossible not to allow beauty and joy to enter into your work when you live in a place like I do, because I'm just surrounded by the most beautiful things. And sometimes I feel I have to deconstruct what I'm looking at to give it a context. I have had many people question, why do you paint beauty? Why do you not just pay? Why don't I paint the DK? Why don't I paint the sadder qualities of life? And I think we're surrounded too much with that. I think it's, mm. it's the culture we live in. It's what, we're, what we see on social media. It's what we see in, on TV, for those people who still watch TV you know, Fox News, whatever. It's this constant barrage of angry, sad imagery. And I think that my paintings are my, my social response to that. And also a little bit about, you know, being gay. You know, anybody who grew up in my era of, you know, coming out and being a gay guy, you, you lived in this world where you didn't know who was gonna be nice, who was gonna be bad. There was no acceptance from family or other you know, communities, and you had to grow your own community. And I think that that definitely has inspired my work in, in that I choose what I want to see. It, it's somewhat selfish. <laughs> There's a selfish side to it because I want to show people what I see, but I have decided to pay, come from a place of joy, a place of happiness and satisfaction as opposed to the constant feeling of dissatisfaction with the world that we're in. So it may be a little, you know, rose-colored glasses at times, but it is how I've chosen to live my life. You know, you know it sort of takes a fairy to make something pretty. Um, <laughs> no, it's like, you know, but it's true. You know, I, I, want to, I don't want to be mired down by the sadness and the difficulties that present. And it's not that I'm not aware of them, and it's not that I'm not you know, involved or feel that I would like to help them. Um, I feel like a place of personal happiness is a very positive thing, and if more people did that, we would have a very different world to live in. And I feel it's important to do small things. You know, I'm not a, I don't write words in my paintings. I don't try to bring the social context to my paintings because I take care of that in my personal life. I like to help people. And again, I don't do that through big charities. I do that through personal giving and day-to-day -day life. I like, I, I drive around a 18 square mile island and I like giving people rides and get, helping them get to work and buy them lunch along the way. I, I, I think it's very nice to live in a more, I think I'm looking for a gentler time from the past that no longer exists but I hope that I contribute a little bit to people having a little bit of joy in their lives, and that's what my paintings are as well. I don't know what else. This is where this... We're gonna cut this out, right? <laughs> okay, how do, how do you cut this out? Oh, it's, like, it's like shiny objects, shiny objects. I'm gonna cross my legs as well. Where's like, the makeup department? <laughs> just stand here behind them going, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peter sorry. Brega. This is Peter uh, Brega. I'm Peter Brega. We're all Peter Brega. <laughs>